Hi, this is Dave, and today I'm standing in ASC's main factory where we're going to be talking about the Econoclave. Um, the Econoclave was originally developed by ASC back in 2001, and at the time it was our goal to provide and build an advanced autoclave that could meet the high expectations of the aerospace industry while also providing top, top quality, superior materials, advanced features, and above all else, sort of operational savings for the customer. And today I'm going to run you through some of those features and capabilities. One of the first questions people ask about the Econoclave is, why is it called the Econoclave? Uh, well, Eco or e Econo in the, in the name refers to the ability of the Econoclave to provide cost effective operations once that autoclave is running in your facility. Uh, because of the design, because the, the pressure vessel can be much smaller, um, you're going to see electrical and nitrogen savings in the amount of 20 to 30 percent over the life of the Econoclave. Airflow is a very critical component to any autoclave. The more air you have, the, the better your, your parts heat and cool. And so uh, one, of the, one of the features of the Econoclave that I want to talk about deals with how we direct airflow. Um, in a conventional autoclave, you're going to find a annulus, an air duct, which runs the circumference of the autoclave. And that air duct serves to direct air from the rear where the fan is through to the door and then all that air coalesces in the middle of the autoclave and gradually goes back toward the rear. Um, when that happens, you end up with, with basically dead spots of, of air in the, in the corners at the front of the autoclave. And what, what we've done at, on the Econoclave is change that, that whole concept. We've removed the air duct and we've moved all of the air to be directed down below the floor. And what happens is that, that air hits the door and now we've added what, what we call H-slot adjusters to distribute that airflow evenly throughout the entire area of the autoclave. What this does is this eliminates those dead spots that you see in a conventional autoclave. That, that H-slot concept is, is also then moved to the back of the autoclave where we end up with a secondary H-slot panel and that is also designed to allow that distribution of air to occur down the entire length of the autoclave at which point it, the, the air goes into the H-slot at the end and then converges back to the fan. In a, in a conventional autoclave, there will be a, a square opening at the back and the air tends to, again, converge to the square opening, leaving a blind spot for, for airflow in the back corner regions. And what, the, what this basically means is that if you do put tooling in a conventional autoclave, in the rear by the corner or, or in, the, in the front of the autoclave by the corner, you're going to end up with poor airflow. In the Econoclave, we've basically solved that. One of the features of the Econoclave that stands out is the use of superior materials. Most competitive autoclaves uh, use plastic tubing, you know, copper tubing for things like vacuum lines and instrument airlines. And in the, in the case of the Econoclave, we're going to use stainless steel for, for all vacuum lines vacuum probe lines, vacuum source lines, and for all instrument air lines, you're going to see stainless steel and not plastic. And what this does is just makes it a much more durable autoclave. It'll last for 20, 30 years in the same shape that it was on day one. Compare that to a competitive autoclave where you're going to have plastic tubing. It's going to degrade over time. Copper is going to get all bent up. So we, we think this is the best way to design an autoclave. Integration of components on an autoclave is an important thing. In most competitive autoclaves, you're going to buy an autoclave, you're going to buy a cooling system, you're going to buy a vacuum system, and all those are going to you know, be shipped to you separately. And what that requires you to do is install everything, get it all working, and get it fully tested at, the, at your site. Uh, with the Econoclave, we've incorporated all of those systems on the unit on a skid. And you can see down here, there's a skid. Uh, that's going to include the, the control panel, the power panel, cooling tank, the vacuum system, and the cooling pumps. So all of this is going to be fully integrated and fully tested here at the ASC shop. Another unique feature of the Econoclave is ease of maintenance. And what, what I mean by that is we're going to bring all this piping and all these valves down to grade to where you can maintain them and work on them without having to get on ladders, climb up top on the autoclave. And when you compare this to a, a competitive autoclave, you're going to see on a competitive autoclave, a lot of these valves will be mounted on top of the autoclave 
and you're going to basically have to get up on a ladder or use a man lift to provide any of the servicing and the normal preventative maintenance uh, activities that, that are required. In an Econoclave, all of this is going to be positioned down low and make it easy for you to work on it. Ease of maintenance extends to the interior of the autoclave. In a conventional autoclave, the heater and the cooling coil are at the rear of the autoclave, and when you need to work on those, you have to actually pull them out of the autoclave and work on them outside. In an econoclave, we've, we've basically placed the cooling coil and the heater below the floor, and so all you have to do is remove some bolts, remove the floor, and you've got full access to those subsystems. This makes working on the Econoclave a much easier task than a competitive autoclave. Well, uh, that's a wrap up on the What's an Econoclave video. I, I really appreciate you listening along today. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact ASC, talk to one of our sales representatives, and they'll be sure to go through all the details that you might have missed on this video. So anyway, have a great day, and we'll see you back at ASC.